Time now for some live Q&A. So use hashtag Cowboys to get your questions on the air. You guys know the drill at this point. Use hashtag Cowboys. Makes it a heck of a lot easier for producer Dylan to get him up on screen. First up from Kelly McMurrian, draft Jalen Hurts, let Dak walk. But why? Why would you want to get worse at quarterback? Like, Jalen Hurts is a lesser version of Dak Prescott. I think that's actually a decent enough comp, especially with where Dak was earlier in his college career. I'll let you guys in on a secret. Lincoln and Riley doesn't trust Jalen Hurts to throw the football. It's, I, don't, I don't like the idea there. Winston Shan, thoughts on Jason when returning next season? I'll answer that one first. Um, I don't know. I, I, I think Witten, he came back for the one year. Didn't play that well. Maybe he does call it a career, and I think he's eyeing the Cowboys tight end coaching job if that ever opens up. Slash Jerry makes it open up as his next job there. Also, Winston, go for it. Let's make some music videos. Send them to me. It's uh, Twitter is the easiest way at what going down just to make sure I see it. Troy Daniels, off season, the Cowboys franchise tag Dak, tag Amari for a year, see how they perform under the new regime, then pursue Adams from the Jets. I am on board with that, uh, especially if you aren't convinced on Amari, aren't convinced on Dak Prescott. I am fine with that path. I also just want to make note, if you go that route, it only becomes more expensive for Dak Prescott and more expensive for Amari Cooper. So if you think that those guys are the option, then just pay them now. You'll save six, seven million combined per year than waiting a year there. But if you just want to wait and see, I am on board with that decision as well. You can go that route, especially with how things have ended this year for the Cowboys. All right, Douglas, will the Cowboys go after Dez in the offseason? The offseason pursuit of Dez makes a lot more sense than any in-season one. Like, then we'll go back to that, that other one for the next one, by the way. Um, I don't think they will, but hey, if Garrett's gone, who knows? All those coaches uh, that Dez didn't like, and this was right about a lot of stuff, as we've seen, makes a little more sense. All right, Gabriel, and I cannot believe we're doing this. Uh, do you think the Eagles really want to beat the Giants and go into the playoffs with a banged-up team? I'm sorry. What fucking planet are we on? Of course they do. They, they want to be in the playoffs. That's why the Cowboys are going to try to win. Like, Philadelphia, once they are on the verge of getting in, they want to win the NFC East. NFL teams don't think like us. We're, oh, God, we should tank for the draft pick. Like, they're going to try and win. Like, of course they are. Jesus. All right, I should be nicer because it, it is it is Christmas time. So with that in mind, I want you guys to grade your Christmas presents. What you guys got? A, B, C, D, or F? I, I would hope that most of us are going with A's here. I got this cool new watch. It's a smart watch, which works with my Android because I'm in 1990s apparently. And... Also has golf GPS, which is great for me. Did I tell you I shot 100 par when I, when I was in Cabo? Yeah, 100 par on the front nine. Never done it before. It was awesome. I see lots of A's coming in, but I see George Russell. Ooh, a couple C's. George said F. A couple C's in there. If you didn't get what someone said F plus, if you didn't get what you wanted, I got some deals for you guys. Head over to chatsports.com slash cowboys hats. We'll get that link in the comments in the description as well. Get yourself Cowboys hats up to 50% off, including that one right there. Whole bunch of them are on sale as cheap as 8 bucks, by the way. And if you're not a hat guy, there's plenty of gear on sale, which they'll offer up some more uh, gear, I think, as things go, go on here. Chatsports.com slash Cowboys up to 50% off. Chatsports.com slash Cowboys has more than just hats. So Elliot says nice hats, but if you don't want one, all kinds of stuff on sale right now. Potato Master, who will re-sign and who won't? Oh, God. Tough question. Uh, to that, I will say stay tuned, Potato. We will have a bunch of off-season free agency talk once the year ends. So I know you're subscribed, but if you're not, make sure you are because we'll be updated all off-season long with daily videos. All right, Alan Williams. What if Dallas makes somehow the playoffs and by some divine miracle makes a huge playoff run 
Do we still fire Garrett? I say we do fire Garrett. If they get in and they make a run to the Super Bowl, which they're not, they'll keep Garrett. I promise you that. Someone on Twitter asked me, if the Cowboys in the Super Bowl, Bowl are they gonna are they gonna keep Garrett? I'm like, of course they are. It justifies everything Jerry's wanted about Garrett. Problem is, they're not gonna make that run. I mean, what from the past several games have you seen to say, yeah, this team can put together multiple good games? I haven't seen it. It's not gonna happen. Now, if you guys want, as I mentioned, daily videos on the Cowboys after the season, I'm talking free agency, draft, needs coach candidates, everything you could possibly want on the Cowboys in the offseason, then subscribe. We will keep you covered here on the Cowboys Report. The link there is below if you need it. But if you're watching on YouTube, just hit that big red button and subscribe. Reed Ferguson, if Javon Kinlaw is there at our pick, we have to take him. D-line is still our biggest issue. I think that makes sense as a target, but I don't think you have to lock into a player – December 26th, before the 2020 even hits. Like, you could look safety. You could look corner. And I don't mind this idea either from C1. How do you feel about trying Gallup in the slot and drafting Lamb in the first round? Love him as a player. Let's see the Cowboys pick 15th. A, I don't think CD Lamb is going to be there. B, you know what I would do? I'm A, probably still going to reset Amari Cooper, at least tag him, and run out those two receivers every single play and just and thrive, I would rotate Gallup and Lamb and Cooper in the slot. They can all do it. Maximize your players, get better matchups. Something that the Cowboys kind of stuff hasn't done a great job of so far this year. All right, Jair, are there any good safeties in free agency? Uh, Trey Boston, who the Cowboys have never liked, I know is a free agent. Uh, the bigger name guys think so. I think if you're looking safety in terms of big impact, it's probably going to be more of a trade for Jamal Adams than it would be a free agency pickup. John Liu with a good one. Do you think Byron Jones deserves to be top five paid cornerback? <sighs> in a bubble, the answer is no, because Byron Jones is not a top five cornerback. I, I think for the most part, we're agreeing there. I mean, look, you guys know I I'm a big Byron Jones fan. So, in a, in a bubble here, the answer is no. He should not be a, a top five highest paid cornerback. The issue is, that's not how contracts work. And, and top five is, let me check my numbers here, it's like $14 million per year. That's probably going to be what he gets on the open market. I mean, Josh Norman, Tremaine Johnson are getting $15 million per year. Or $14.5 million per year. Byron's better than those guys. So he's going to get paid top five money because that's how contracts work. So in a bubble, no. But in reality, yeah, he does. All right, Mookin' Cowboys, who's your first round pick? Oh, God. I'd love a corner because I don't know if you're going to end up keeping Byron Jones. I, I think you might lose him. I'm looking defense here. I'm looking at defensive tackle. Is Javon Kinlaw there? I would love Derek Brown. I don't think you're going to be able to end up getting him there. Beyond that, I think you're looking at corner. I'd love to get Christian Fulton. I don't think I can get Akuda. But those are two guys I'd love. And then, worst case, I can take Grant Delpit. I'm pretty happy about that one. All right, Salad or Salad, Jr. With a new coach, does Dak get tagged to see if Dak fits the new head coach's scheme? If he doesn't fit, what happens? Dak might be tagged, but I think it would. I think it'll be because... The Cowboys and Dak aren't in agreement on price, more so than the Cowboys want to see if Dak fits the new head coach. I, I mean, if you're hiring a head coach that's good at all, he's going to fit his scheme to fit Dak Prescott. Uh, otherwise, what are you doing? Like, that's just that's bad coaching. So you might wait and see a year just to see how everything fits together. That's an option. But I don't think the Cowboys are approaching this as we're going to tag Dak and wait. Because if you wait till next year, Toss out the $35 million asking price. It's 40 plus. That's what happens if you wait. That, that is the nature of contracts. And at that point, geez, might as well just do it. Get it, get it over with. All right, Alan Lopez, 
What happened to the defense from last year and which players are most to blame? Uh, scheme is too simple. You're not disguising anything. You're playing off coverage. NFL teams this year against the Cowboys are getting passes out quicker than they do for the uh, across their other games. Meaning quick passes, no blitz off coverage. I mean, sorry, you, you you got beat. Like there's nothing you can do at that point. And pressure doesn't work if it's if the ball's out within two and a half seconds. Like you just don't get there in time. That's not how the NFL works. So scheme's an issue there, but a lot of it's playing players. Jalen Smith has not played that well, to at least the expectations. Late Van Rush before he got hurt. Cheetos regressed pretty heavily. Xavier Woods started the year hot and then kind of just flattened out a little bit there. Robert Quinn's been great. Demarcus Lawrence gets pressures but not sacks. There are issues in all three you know, areas of the defense. Means he had a rough year. All right, to Kelly, will we be able to re-sign Quinn? If you want, the Dallas Cowboys can afford Dak Prescott. They can afford Amari Cooper. They can afford Byron Jones, and they can afford Robert Quinn all in this offseason. They're going to have like $90 million to spend with, and the cap keeps going up. So if they really, really want to, they can do it. But the Cowboys like to have some flexibility in terms of, of their cap space. And Quinn is going to get a lot of money. Now, he's older, so that's going to drive his price tag down. They are able to. I don't know if that's the route they're going to choose. Regardless, that trade... And I hope this convinces the Cowboys to do more of this. You traded a sixth round, I think it was a sixth round pick for, for Quinn. If you lose him in free agency, you're going to get a third or a fourth. So you traded up just to pay Quinn and get 10 sacks. That's a really good deal if you're the Cowboys. Now, today's show is brought to you by BetDSI. Head over to chatsports.com slash bet and use that promo code COWBOYS120. It's you a 120% deposit bonus. So put down 50 bucks, extra 60 coming your way for free. But you got to use that promo code Cowboys120 on chatsports.com slash bet. Takes you right in to the BetDSI site. Anthony and Marissa, chances the Cowboys make a splash trade or splash in the draft. Well, if you're drafting top 15 like you might be, you'll probably make a splash. God, I hope you're top 15 there. Um... Trade if it's not Jamal Adams. I I, I don't know. I, I don't know how much that en ends up impacting. Um, but they'll be in the news. I promise you that. Destroyer dog. If we had Beasley, would the Cowboys have done better this season? Not really. I mean, Cole's done fine for Buffalo. He had a he had a nice revenge game against the Cowboys. Um, I, I just I don't think that. Beasley versus Cobb really would have changed your outcome very much. Like, Cobb made some nice plays. Showed on the field on fourth and eight. Stupid. The Popos trade up for Derek Brown or Jeffrey Akuda. I like the idea of it a lot. I, I like both of those players. God, I love Derek Brown. Both of them are going to be top ten guys on my board. The issue is to get them, I think you're going to have to be at least top ten. Maybe higher. Um... So getting from even from 15 to 10, are you going to give up a first and a second round pick for him? I'm, I am highly tempted, but I'm not going to because I need that second round pick. I got holes to fill. I don't think the Cowboys defense is just a Derrick Brown or an Akuda away. I think that you need a little bit more than that. All right, Nate's wrestling. Who would you hire as defensive coordinator? If I have my choice, two guys. Number one, because I know he's available. Ron Rivera, I think he's going to get a head coaching job, so maybe not him. How about Dan Quinn? I think that would be a great idea. Uh, he, it, is a, it is not that dissimilar of a scheme. I think he is a better coordinator than Chris Richard, so it's different while still being just new enough to justify. I, I think that Dan Quinn would be a good fit for the Cowboys. Got to find some better safety help, though, if that's the route you're going to go. I want someone with experience, maybe even a former head coach, if I hire a young guy with an offensive mind, maybe hasn't had the most experience in that particular area. All right, die hard, one, two, three, six. Jamal Adams, 2020. I'm down. 
we'll see if the Cowboys end up going that route. I think that they're going to try. The Jets can make this all go away if they, you know, just give Adams a massive extension and get him to sign it. But you can bet those trade rumors are going to be everywhere this offseason until A, he's dealt, B, he is signed slash extended with the Jets. That's the route that they're going to end up taking in 2020. Hey Cowboys fans, thanks for watching the Cowboys Report. If you haven't already, click right here to subscribe to our channel for all the best Cowboys coverage on the internet. That's news, rumors, highlights, mailbags, film studies, and a whole lot more. And I'm making your lives a little bit easier as well with the next Cowboys Report video right here.